Missouri is 204 miles an hour. 104 is soft, 64 time. 264 is 330. That track is 386, 204. And the Forever Young team going to the next round. <laughs> Champion Speed Shop car, small block Chevrolet, but the mouse that roar. Yeah, well, Mindy Fry and that team has had hard luck this weekend and uh, some odd breakage, but uh, they fought through it, and never gave up, and it's got them to the final round here. Yes, she has a very talented driver, Walt Stevens, former driver himself, bringing her back. Tom Shawar, that entire bunch over there. 549-0 backed up to with that earlier 551. It's just spectacular for that car. But the champion speed shop, small block Chevrolet, don't count them out. I don't care what the car in the other lane has run. That is a veteran team. That is one of the best drivers in the business. And they would like nothing better to knock down the defending national champion pick up that March 8 trophy. Yeah, it's another team that never gives up also, in the champion speed shop, Dragster. All right, Bob McLennan on the champion speed shop car making final adjustments. For the 61st time. Wow. Three stage, Mike English. Here we go, Donnie Couch. Will the quickest car in the country get one more the three stage? Holy cow! Wow! How about that? I told you, don't count them out. 584, wow, 2 half, 12 miles an hour. Mindy Fry's car went nowhere, Donnie Couch. Wow! As 
Adam Sorokin is your March Meet Champion. Wow. That is spectacular. The quickest car in the world in the Heritage Series went nowhere. Unbelievable as those gremlins have come back at the wrong time. And the mouse bat roared is 584, 212 miles an hour. 264 to 330, 383, 208 to half track for Adam and the champion team. And holy cow, those stars and stripes down there, they're high five and they're hugging. And that Cam 2 Blue Bud Racing Oil team car is getting pushed off. And Donnie, I don't mind saying, that is a stunner. It started out pretty, pretty tough, actually. I mean, we, we went through a bunch of adversity, you know, and the guys kept putting the car back together, and it kept getting a little better each time. And uh, I, I, I kind of knew, by the way, Bobby was uh, belting me in that he, he had a tune-up in it because he tends to belt me in a little tighter every time it goes a little, it's a little bit more hopped up. But... Uh, Two March meets is unbelievable. One was a dream come true, and to win another is is something special. So this one is for Jim McLennan, and this one is for Mike Sorokin, and my dad. What does it mean to you to follow in the footsteps and win? It's such a prestigious event. Oh, I mean, this is the one that you want to win, right? Like I've been wanting to win this race before I was driving anything. You know, I knew the significance of the March meet when I was a little boy, you know, and you don't know you're ever going to be in a, in a top fuel car when you're a kid, but to get an opportunity to do it and then to actually drive in, in this, this historic race, which is over 60 years old, and to win it and put your name along with the other people that are legendary in this race and, and win it as well, you know, it, it's humbling, you know, it really is. I could not be happier. If your dad could be here in the winter circle with you right now, what would you say to him? I don't know. I just hug him, you know. That's all.